EA Sports brings you a special edition of the National Football League for this Thanksgiving matchup. It's the Bills and the Saints on Thursday night. From a city that's played host to 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Superdome in New Orleans. The setting in this dome just serves to amplify the excitement of the folks in New Orleans as their Saints burst from the tunnel a moment ago. They're set, and we're set as well as the Saints get ready to do battle with the Buffalo Bills. Brandon Garden alongside, as always, my partner Charles Davis and CD. In the few moments here before kickoff, let's give these folks at home a look at these two offenses by the numbers. What, what stands out to you? Brandon, I just continue to be amazed by the analytics of the game, and it's an area where I continue to concentrate and study because I'm still trying to figure out how coaches and coordinators can really crunch the numbers and find where exactly on the field the defense is vulnerable. It's the game within the game. And if you really dive into it, it can be endlessly fascinating. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's, so, not, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that tells me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. And he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. So on the big tight end, hold it. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And able to find a little space, he gets this up over the 15 to the 16. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Now on second and 16, Simeon. That's caught by Marquez Cataway. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. 
Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. The tackle is made by Micah High. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Some extra space following the display of power. Down just inside the 45. Give him five on the screenplay, and that'll set up a third down. So Charles' first drive here, a little safe completion underneath. Maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet or on. It'll be a gain of four, and it'll be fourth down. How about this for an opening drive decision? You got fourth and short, just outside of field goal range in all likelihood. What do you do? I'm going for it. I've got to go get it right now. I want to establish a tone. It's early in the game. I want to let my offense know that I believe in them. And you know something else? I let my defense know I believe in them also by taking that gamble. If we don't get it, it's okay. You guys will cover for me. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Partner doesn't seem like it, but that's a tough spot for a kicker. First drive of the game, and they're calling on him. He should be warmed up. He should be into the game, but sometimes... It's almost like, oh, what, now already? Can't they put it in the end zone? What's going on here? Yeah, and he's probably saying, if you can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40 yard, <laughs> a long one, and he can't connect. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. On play action, Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. And he'll work this forward for about three and second down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Here's Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Paulson Adebo. And the Saints are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. 
Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And they were in field goal range the last time out, but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. They needed some breathing room. He gave it to him. 11 yards and a first down. Gardner, I think that play echoed a short yardage run. I know they're back to this own goal line, but when they stack the defensive line like that, if you find any type of a crease, you're up to the third level before you know it. So a little more space to work with here from the 13 on first and 10. Simeon now to throw. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I do have to admit I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. He takes this for three to the 29. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now a play fake, and it's Simeon. He's going to let this one go deep. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. But well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Simeon. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. That was Jordan Poyer, the safety in for the sack. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. On fourth down, the Saints bring on their new punter for 2021, Blake Gillikin. Isaiah McKenzie is back deep for the Bills. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone, costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come over with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. 
toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Throwing now is Allen. Forced out to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Six yards there off the scramble, but it will still leave him with a third down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll run on first down with Singletary. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. From the gun, it's Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 33. 15 yards that time and a Buffalo first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Allen off the play fake. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Cameron Jordan showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. Well, on that one, they go to the play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. To try again after the sack, Allen. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. That catch good for five. It's third down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for him. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield. Forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that, but the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the three. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. 
Not, Either the, way. not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And we will not see a run back here from Harris. New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the 29, Simeon. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Ed Oliver that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? Simeon in need of something big following that sack, facing third and long. A shotgun snap for Simeon. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part. Now Sean McDermott is going to throw out the challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And i got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Buffalo set to get the football back here. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Terry to get the drive started. And he'll work this forward for about three and second down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. On second and seven, Allen. This is brought in by the tight end, Tommy Sweeney. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size, 
Can't really hide him, but the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to small up the ball carrier. Throwing his Allen on third. He's going to let this go for the end zone. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs, 49 yards. And the Bills will extend their lead. So there is the big arm of Josh Allen on display. He can throw it as deep as anybody, and that was an absolute laser. And that is absolutely demoralizing for a defense because you've got the offense on the ropes. It's third down. You're trying to get off the field, and then wham. You have a letdown in the secondary, and you give up a big one. And the final number on that throw, boy, it traveled an even 69 yards. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead grows to 10 0. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. This take it in at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. Give. This is Kamara. A gain of three, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Second down at seven. Simeon. It's brought in by Harris. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Simeon on first down. Harris has it over the middle. Three yards the game there, second down. Back 
to throw. Simeon. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. bring out a couple of extra defensive backs to defend this third down play. Yeah, they're going dime. To the air again, Simeon. Complete, it's Johnson. And he is gonna have a Saints first down. They needed three, he doubled that, he got six. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 47. Now a handoff, here's Kamara. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. the ground this is Camara nifty move and brought down but now before they're inside the 25 49 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far I think they like this drive a little bit better there partner running game helping out picking up some of the slack because remember the last drive they went three and out This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. A give to Kamara running right. And a short gain here down to the 22. Credited with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They'll try the air now with Simeon. Steps away to his left. They'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Levi Wallace with a pick, and the Bears are going to have it here at their own 15. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 15. 
He'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Allen's throw caught by Sanders. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Allen to the veteran Sanders for the Buffalo first. Emmanuel Sanders, of course, veteran receiver, played for a lot of teams, and he was with the Saints last year, his one and only season with him. He had 61 catches, 726 yards, and was the de facto number one receiver for most of the year with Michael Thomas out with injury. Here's Allen on first and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Play action. Now it's Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Allen going to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. On the counter, this is Singletary. And he's got room. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. That time, a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. On play action, Allen looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Saints will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here? He'll lose a yard there, and it's set. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You put a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage.
A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Out of the gun, Simeon. Over the middle, complete. It's Harris. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Camara. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They out leveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held him to no gain. To the run for no gain. Here's second and ten. Running with Camara. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Saints on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and seven. Simeon now to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there. Catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. This is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So two missed field goals for him now. And that's helped keep them with a big zero on the scoreboard. Well, it's not the only reason they have a zero. The offense has been bogged down a few times now. But it's certainly not helping the cause any at all. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks, and while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind <laughs> or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Allen to throw it. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. And this is picked up by the Saints. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. with every potential turnover. They're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. The and the 
question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that challenge is a successful one. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Here's Allen following a fumble recovery. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll run on first down. Singletary, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. To the air, Allen. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. And they run here with Singletary. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. From the gun, it's Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Bass on for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. That time, a six-play drive, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here comes Deontay Harris from his end zone. 
And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called can go. I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. They'll run. This is Kamara. Up past the 25 to the 26. A gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the gun, here's Sebian. He gets it complete to Harris. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. The offense on third down tonight, they've had their troubles. Just one for six. They're looking at third and a few inches. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. now. Here's first and ten. 58 to Mike, 58. 58 to Mike. A shotgun snap for Simeon. And he's got his target, Harris. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't caught their way and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Now it's Simeon. Looking left side and he's got a man. Brad Smith. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. 58, right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah. Looking to throw again on second down. Simeon. He finds his man complete. That's Harris. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 39. 12 yards there as they move the chains. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. 49, 49, guys. Simeon throwing again. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here's second and 10. Now Simeon. That is caught by Callaway. Touchdown, New Orleans! Marquez Callaway, 39 yards. And the Saints make some inroads here to that deficit. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Brett Maher on for the 
extra point. And it's 17-7. So that drive goes eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. McKenzie now on the return. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. start their next drive and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone and just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive when you score points it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there two yards the loss second and 12. and that's what i'd like to see out of this defense a little fire a little toughness it hasn't been the best first half for them but they did do a nice job there forcing a loss on that play First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They run the counter. Singletary. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two yard gain. the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down at around the 22. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On fourth down, on is the former Dolphin, Matt Hawk, to punt for Buffalo. Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Trevor Semien ready to retake the field. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, Let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. Well, so far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. Now Simeon stripped. He lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And this is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. So the big fella 
gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Here comes Deontay Harris from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Now the Saints coming back out ready to go for this next drive. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it, but you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. On first down, Simeon. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw, Simeon. It's brought in by Harris. And he goes out right around the 39. A gain of six there on first. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. In your face. From the 39, Simeon. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Harris. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver trying to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at it, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first and 10, Simeon. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Jerry Hughes able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New we Orleans, number two, one. as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Simeon and Callaway taking it in left side. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Ah. 
Simeon. He gets this one to Johnson. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. And he's got this one complete to Callaway. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Second down at four. To the air again, Simeon. They'll get this out to Kamara. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Simeon on first down. Looking for the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands but could not hang on. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Simeon incomplete on first. Here's second and ten now. To throw is Simeon. That's taken in by Callaway. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. These guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. A 32-yard attempt. The kick by Marr is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime here on the Thanksgiving night as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Bills. And they've definitely been able to exploit some holes in that opposing secondary as they threw for close to 200 yards in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they too were able to take advantage of a soft secondary as both of these two teams really threw the ball at will in that first half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. end zone Isaiah McKenzie and in hindsight probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter and Charles they've got the lead put your coaching hat on here now what's the game plan for the second half I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. 
Here's Allen on first and ten. And Sanders has got it complete. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and six. Here's Allen. Escaping the pressure right. And Allen will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact at the end. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> Almost impossible. Well, yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. To throw, it's Allen. He hits Beasley right side. Three yards the game there, second down. Brand a perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating, there he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And good running, gonna get this down close to a first at the Saints 38. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Allen now looks to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Saints are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Now they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that payoff in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities, and this is a good one right in front of them. After the interception, here's Simeon. In the hands of Kamara. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Kamara try the right side, and he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage to be found. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Simeon now to throw. His throw incomplete. 
And he's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long, with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, here's Simeon. And this is going to be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. To return is McKenzie. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And three interceptions in this game, and I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. On first down, Singletary, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he will lose yards back to the 34-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. Throwing his Allen on third. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 23 yards on the play. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. They'll run on first down. Singletary. And some room to run now. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 61 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more yeah. bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. Operating from the red zone now. Allen, he's going to flip one out here to his running back. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, that's not exactly how they drew that one up. More practiced it because on first down, you're trying to get some yardage to set up second and third down calls. In this case, had to drop it off to his running back. But boy, they closed quickly on that one and stopped him behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 11. To the air, Allen. And that's incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Allen. 
Flushed out right. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen taking it in from the 20. And the Bills will add on to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Saints 10. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here's Harris to return it. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The New Orleans offense set to take over. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. He's got the tight end, Vanette. Not much there, only a yard. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Here's second and nine. the gun, Simeon. He rifles one, it's intercepted. Levi Wallace with a pick. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game, and so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. The Buffalo offense and Devin Singletary heading back out there. And after a sluggish start, he's really bounced back. The numbers bear that out. And you're a baseball guy, partner. How many at-bats over the course of a baseball season? Oh, boy, four about in a three, game. Yeah, about three, four in a four game. Four times 162. 350 or so, right? Sometimes it takes a while for a guy to get going. That's my point. It's not the first few carries. You don't worry about that. As they go along, get that guy lathered up, get those blocking assignments down. Those two-yard gains turn into bigger gains as the game moves along. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. 67 yards rushing for him now to this point. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On second and goal, Allen. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen, his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Defensively by now, 
You know his ability. You know he has it in him to take off and run. Yeah, because they knew coming into this game, but we've already seen examples in this contest that he can run the football. I think they're going to examine different ways to rush him now. Is it, Are they going to do it with different lanes? Are they going to use a spy? But they have to come up with options because right now he's hurting them. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here's Harris to return it. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front. And they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Simeon. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. It's a gain of five, and it'll make it a second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. From the 40 now on second down, Simeon. That's complete over the middle to Callaway. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 44-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 44-yard line. The busy night continues for Kamara. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Kamara. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Matt Milano in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. 
Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Buffalo offense back out, ready to go. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? Who? You and me, <laughs> trying to get to the airport. That's the roads true. will be fairly that, clear that is by the one time positive. we have to leave the booth. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 21. 56 to Mike, boys, 56. Here's Allen to throw it. It's complete to Diggs. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield, and there's another completion. On first down, Singletary, and he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Well, Park, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it, but in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Singletary again. They'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Now Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game. And this continues as we see here. Coverage not been very good. Soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. From the gun, it's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Throwing on first down is Allen. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. On first down, Allen. And that's complete to Sanders. A gain of six there on first. Throwing again on second down. Allen throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. We own it. Throwing now is Allen. 
And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 78 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Second and goal from inside the five. Play action. Now it's Allen. Buying time. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen taking it in from four yards out. And the Bills get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead will swell by one more. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here's Harris to return it. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Trevor Simeon ready to retake the field. So, Charles, there are the numbers. What's happened here? Defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit? I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well, you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we've got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. They'll fake the handoff. Now Simeon. And he hits his target. It's Kenny Stills. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Thanksgiving night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Now a second down and six. Back to throw, Simeon. 
And that is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The Saints on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This will be third and six. Here's Simeon. Johnson's got it complete. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker, despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. Yeah, that's third down 101. You got to go to the marker, know where it is. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. No reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I looked out at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Again, Simeon. That is caught by Callaway. Touchdown, New Orleans! Marquez Callaway with his second touchdown of the night. And the Saints get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. He has his two scores, but still a sizable deficit in this game. Do you have him in fantasy football this week? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's too bad, right? That would have been big points. But he is really trying to rally his team as best he can. Things are not going as well the rest of the way for them. That's why they're down with this deficit. He might need to score a couple of more times to give them a chance. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. sided affair. I think we've reached the point in the broadcast where you and I, we may have some filling to do, right? Yeah, I think you're right about that because we got to try to keep people around. We don't want them to change the channel. Stay with us in this game. Is that Ben Ramsar? Are you hearing from Ben on the headset here? Tell yeah. us stretch, stretch. This thing out a little bit. Get some talking points. Dig them all out. Uh, that's what you get. A big time producer. Keep them here. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25 yard line. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And not much, maybe a yard up to the 29. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. 
And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. And that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt, and possession will switch hands first and ten. New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. down Simeon and they take him down the Bills get to him Vernon Butler in there to get him that is the sixth time that they have sacked him tonight and you can say that is just another cherry on top for this defense and that entire team but really this defense has sparked what's been an impressive effort here in this one and I notice you used the word sparked because you're not seeing that on the other side of the ball are you the offense right now the spark has left their game, and it's been because of what you described, that defensive pressure. After the sack on first down, Simeon. Well, it's caught on the right side, it's Smith. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Saints on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This is going to be third and 13. But he's got his target, Harris. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield, marking down at the 49. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They're going to mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Simeon on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Harris. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 36. Now it's Simeon. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off at the 28. Well, just another reason to celebrate there on the defensive side with the interception. And this is a game that they clearly have firmly in their grasp. Yeah, a lot of handshakes, a lot of hugs, a lot of smiles. It's been their day. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. First down with Singletary. And a little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. 
Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They go right back to Singletary. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. They run the counter. Singletary. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring out the fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Here's Harris to return it. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. 49. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Now Simeon stripped. He lost the football. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands? Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, Simeon. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. Do you know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> yeah, that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. And this is caught right along the sideline. Good job of keeping the toes in bounds there. Well, he 
he's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there and he showed it off on that one and that's a rare bright spot and what's overall been a pretty poor showing so far but you gotta figure when you're down a bunch why not take some big shots and they connect on that one and that ball whew, traveling 68 yards in the air according to next gen stats on first down at Simeon. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Star Latulale breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. To try again after the sack. Simeon. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A shotgun snap for Simeon. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time for Simeon on fourth. And this one is incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Singletary to get the drive started. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Brings up second and eight at the 19-yard line. Second and eight coming up. They'll keep it on the ground. Singletary, and he'll push forward for about four up to the 23. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Allen now looks to throw. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. They'll run on first down. Singletary, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down now, it's Moss. 
And he's going to have a Bills first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. He's brought down at the 42-yard line. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Here's Singletary. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Watch the pass. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Allen. And he's got his man here, Beasley. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 14. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. Well, that did nothing but praise for me for this offense. They have been tremendous all night long. They knew what they had to do to unlock the defense. And let's face it, this has been a master class in offensive football that we've been here to witness. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. On the give, this is Singletary. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Singletary. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will extend this big lead. Saints 17. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here comes Deontay Harris from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. 
Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. On first and ten, Simeon. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Ed Oliver, his second sack of the night. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.